Previously on Toy Shiz. Now that's some sweet 90s animated action. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and a very happy Marvel May to you all. Thanks to my friends over at Collection Obsession Official, we got some new Marvel items to check out, all of which are hitting Walmart stores now. We got a couple resin busts based on some 90s X-Men and Spider-Man animated series, which is right up my alley, and a Venom-inspired themed box as well to check out. So this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at some very cool Marvel-themed merchandise by Diamond Select and Culturefly. So let's start it off with this old knucklehead right here. This is the Wolverine Unmasked Resin Bust by Diamond Select. And this one in particular is a Walmart exclusive, the Unmasked version. There is a masked Wolverine as well. Amazing, gorgeous packaging on this. It's so much fun to see animated X-Men on the shelves. This approximately six inch resin bust of Wolverine is based on his appearance in X-Men the Animated Series. It features detailed sculpting and cartoon accurate paint applications. Limited to only 3,200 pieces, it comes packaged with a numbered certificate of authenticity, and it was designed by Barry Bradfield and sculpted by Joe Mena. So thank you guys for that. It's just, you hear Cal Dodd in your head when you see this packaging, just FYI. Here's the barcode as well. Again, like I said, find it on store shelves at Walmart. I have seen this quite a bit, so it is out there now. So let's get old Unmasked Wolverine out of the packaging and see how he is. And of course, here's Wolverine taken out of the packaging, and it's a very nice looking animated Wolverine, especially with the mask pulled back. There wasn't a whole lot of exactly cartoon accurate looks depicting unmasked Wolverine, we'll just say. And of course, he comes with his certificate of authenticity, each one does. And yeah, like I said, I think they've captured the look set forth by the animated series really nicely. Nice blues, nice yellows, the bright red belt, the hair. Underneath, you see Marvel manufacturer, then the numbering out of 3,000. I think the paint could have been better, a little bit on the base. Some of the black around the edges, the highlights could have been better. But the actual Wolverine, I love the back of the mask right there. The actual Wolverine looks great. And I love the cell shaded look to him, his claws. Everything about it is very much the animated series. So in that sense, they nailed it. So when you put him up against like the old Toy Biz Wolverine, that's the blues, that's the yellows that I would come to expect from the animated series. And ones that really, some modern day action figures don't really capture that look. And if you have Morph, you know, you can swap out the head and how about I go in like this, huh? I know it was Gambit, but you get the joke. But not since we've had this head sculpt, yeah. With say Marvel Legends. Now, with the most recent Wolverine, the yellow costume that fits a little bit better. The first version, a little bit too dark yellow. See, the animated one is always bright colors. If they could really make action figures based on this look, that would be amazing. And we all know what Jean Grey is putting on her bedside table, huh? And if you wanted to see it, maybe you do Mutant Agenda, Mutant's Revenge, Spider-Man the Animated Series, teaming up with the X-Men. I think that's gonna look great on your shelf. And next up, we're going to be checking out the brand new Venom Collector's Box set. This is by Culturefly, and it's kind of one of those as a themed box set where everything has to do with Venom. I actually really like the box on this. This is what caught my eye the most. Tells you exactly what's inside, and here's the barcode if you want to grab it. Like I said, they're starting to hit Walmarts now. And yeah, it's just, it just screams of Venom, which is cool. But let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you guys exactly what's inside. But yeah, I love the, the artwork that they chose to do this with. It's very symbiotic, very goopy. Right off the bat, you open it up. Okay, so you get a hat. So you get a purple and black hat, which it's got the Venom symbol on it. We'll look at that in full blown looks. Culture Fly, 30% off. If you want this, there you go. First order, yada, yada. So that's how they get you, right? And then the first thing out of the box, again, kind of using that artwork, you got the Venom, Venom, Venom on the bottom, Venom on the top, Venom everywhere. It's a Venom box, in case you didn't know. This is the pint glass. And I have had things of this nature before. You know, I've had DC stuff, Marvel stuff. Usually they last a good year, year and a half, and then the stuff starts to flake off the glass <laughs> but venom right there and then you get the venom lethal protector comic book cover. lethal protector is absent 
probably because it's lethal protector they want to go all you know friendly like happy times venom he's just gonna pop your head with the symbiote <laughs> it's cool it's just it's a, it's point glass with artwork on it so yeah it, it's okay <laughs> i'll definitely drink something out of that i have several themed glasses that i use this caught my eye you know just from seeing it in the box it kind of reminded me of like toy biz stuff you know that they used to include in the box and i'll just put this tape right here this is a planter like you know you put soil in it and you grow something out of it see right there culture fly in the bottom it's got the water hole inside is interesting that's not the most attractive thing i'll tell you that it looks very unfinished obviously you know they gotta make it so the plant and the soil can live in there it's a little bit flaky the paint is okay not exactly something i would use for a plant but i like it in the sense of it's a venom thing uh, it's it's an odd thing we'll just say that it's it's really cool to look at but as a planner i don't know what else is in this box uh ooh, okay let's do this first these are venom coasters that's cool I think out of everything these are <laughs> this is something i actually like and would use on my table in my office but let's go ahead let's open it up here and and yeah there you go you get two venom coasters it says venom on it it's kind of well it's kind of messed up a little bit right there but culture fly on the back all that kind of stuff marvel i actually like these. these are thick these are nice <laughs> i think i like this the best out of the box so far something i'd actually use and then for this last thing we're getting a venom what is this this is a is like a handkerchief or a, a bandana and yeah you get this really huge bandana although the material i would never say this is like bandana material this is kind of like one of those poster flag things you know what i mean that you think it's a really nice venom and carnage on there it's very busy there's a lot going on but probably pertaining more to venom 2 as a movie tie-in to get you excited for the movie this is not yeah something it's very cool it's great that it's venom and carnage but not my thing and then finally let's take a look at the hat very smashed hat black purple venom symbol on the top or you could say symbiote spider-man on the top right it's a Venom hat for me for like if I go to Toy Fair or Comic-Con, yeah, I would wear that. It's like a Hasbro event, Marvel event, something like that. So to kind of go back over it, the bandana, not really doing it for me. It's a cool graphic, but it's OK. I really like the coasters. I'll definitely use that. The planter is OK. I like in the sense it's a Venom face, but not something I'm going to use to plant anything. The pint glass it's nicely done for the sense of what they do with those, but again, nothing special. And the hat, I'll yeah, the hat's cool. I'll definitely take the hat. So that's the Venom Collector's box. Overall, it's not really something for me. I love that it's Venom, and that's what initially drew me to it. If you're a huge Venom fan, or if you know someone in your life that is a Venom fan, this might be right up their alley. But I just think in terms of the selection of items in it, it's kind of, uh, the coasters are cool. And you take the pint glass, you put the coaster on it. That's really, and you wear a hat while you're drinking. So there you go, drink water. <laughs> Moving on. With this next resin bus, the master of magnetism himself, Magneto, makes his way into the Diamond Select X-Men the Animated Series line. The box art on this is so fantastic. I can't even tell you. This is a gorgeous offering. Gorgeous packaging all over. The resin bust of Magneto is based on his appearance in the X-Men the Animated Series and features detailed sculpting and cartoon accurate paint applications. It is limited to only 3,000 pieces and includes a numbered certificate of authenticity and of course designed by Barry Bradfield and sculpted by Paul Harding. And again, just in talking Whenever they did animated series type merchandise, the artwork was always just a little bit off, Toy Biz. But just seeing it now, that's a perfect recreation of Magneto right there. That is so cool to see. And then, of course, if you're looking for this, you can find it at Walmart, barcode right here. So let's get Magneto out of the box and take a look. Then here's Magneto all out of the packaging, and he looks really good. Again, it's with really bright colors that these animated statues really come to life of course like wolverine he does come with a certificate of authenticity all numbered 
And really, Magneto's colors, the purples, the blacks, the really heavy blacks are translated well, as you can see, corresponding to the animated series, that particular art style at the time. He does have the same type of base as the Unmasked Wolverine, made out of 3000, yada yada. The paint on the base could have been a little bit better, just saying, but the figures actually look great and had the cell shaded look to the cape, the purples to the lighter purples, the reds, the black on the helmet. I love just the design of that, the really nice shape. It's really cool. And especially within the eyes, the face, everything is captured beautifully for that look of Magneto during X-Men the Animated Series. And when pairing him up with his 90s animated series Toy Biz counterpart, yeah, the colors are definitely there. Like I said with Wolverine, I would love to see just some more accurate animated look. And if you wanna go ahead and pop the cape off this old guy and flick the switch on his back, yeah, still lights up. That's the toys right there. Put him next to Professor X, right? <laughs> Maybe they're gonna, you know, team up. Uh, Professor X got the use of his legs back. Maybe they get lost in the Savage Land and then Sauron shows up and then there's a whole thing where it's a multi-parted episode arc right there. And when putting him up next to the animated Wolverine, yeah, I like that the bases all match. They have a nice congruent look to them and they all match up nicely with the style of paint, the really cell shaded look to him. So in that sense, yeah, they are definitely going to look good on your animated series shelf. And just for fun, here he is next to Spider-Man the Animated Series, which speaking of, Finally, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Diamond Select Spider-Man the Animated Series, Spider-Man Resin Bust. Yeah, based on Spider-Man the Animated Series. I know, I am shocked as well. The 90s are still alive. Look at that Spider-Man right there. This resin bust of Spider-Man is based on his appearance in Spider-Man the Animated Series and features detailed sculpting and cartoon accurate paint applications. It is limited to only 3,000 pieces and includes a numbered certificate of authenticity and it's designed by Barry Bradfield and sculpted by Paul Harding. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. Again, like I said, they are starting to hit Walmart stores now. So let's get old Spidey out of the packaging and see how he is. And when you open it up, you can see it's sandwiched between two pieces of styrofoam. You get that little authenticity certificates right there numbered out of 3000. And you just kind of open it up slowly and bingo bango, you got yourself a interesting Spider-Man the Animated Series bust. And what's cool again about this is that how long has it been since we've had Spider-Man the Animated Series anything? Besides maybe a t-shirt or something to that degree. But this thing is actually pretty cool. I'll tell you what, all day. They nailed the look of Spider-Man the Animated Series. He had a very distinct costume, very distinct red and blue, and I love the shading on him. So in that sense, they nailed it. I like the bust part of it. Again, it not really collecting a whole lot of uh, statues and whatnot. I know a lot of people will say, of course you got statues, you collect spawn. <laughs> but yeah, I like just the colors on him. I like he's doing the web thwip. It's very cool. I love the spider sculpted right there on the chest and it has some heft to it. You'll see on the bottom, it's numbered out of 3000. One thing I'll tell you, Diamond Select, whoever did this, get a pen, get a better pen. What, come on. You can barely read that, 1954, I guess. But the webbing is nice. This is one of those things where just be very careful because yeah, if it falls over, it's off a shelf, knocks, it ain't gonna live. But I love the shading on it, the little accents, the animated look. They got the hands right. If you look at Spider-Man, the animated series, he's drawn differently from season to season in many ways, different lines, all that kind of stuff, but they captured the look, nailed it. Even the little spider on his back, again, love the shading. It's very cool to have this. Now, the real magic is when you put him with, let's say, the old Toy Biz Spider-Man, the animated series. And yeah, again, I think they did a great job at capturing the look and the feel of the Spider-Man series. With the retro Marvel Legends figure, the blue is off on that retro Marvel Legends figure. It's too dark. The lighter blue is really the way to go. Sort of with the Diamond Select Spider-Man, Marvel Select Spider-Man, but in actuality, I mean, the bust is actually, I think, the closest to Spider-Man the Animated Series we've seen thus far. Put him with your Venoms, right? Thanks again to Rebob Lito for that head on that guy. That's very cool. Or good old Doc Ock. Like he's saying, here's webbing your eyes. Heck, even the armored Spider-Man 
or Madam Web. I kind of just pulled out various Spider-Man the Animated Series figures just to show you scale. And again, in the situation of display, if you have the old Daily Bugle playset, this is where this shines. This is very cool to me. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at these brand new Diamond Select animated Spider-Man and X-Men resin busts. Then, of course, the Collector Flies Venom Collector's box as well. For the Wolverine, we'll just say this. I would prefer the Masthead. This is, again, a Walmart exclusive version of this resin bust. But still, it is a very nice looking animated Wolverine. So in that sense, yeah, if you're definitely into X-Men the Animated Series... I would say go for it. Magneto is nice as well. And I think that it really encompasses the look of X-Men, the animated series, the heavy blacks, the light reds, the purple, the shading, everything else. So again, much like Wolverine, I think you'll have a nice time with him on your shelf. The Venom box, I'll tell you this. If you're a huge Venom fan, this might be for you. I think cohesively, there isn't a lot in this to really say, yeah, go out and grab it. It's cool that it's Venom, but there's not a lot of cool things inside. Although I do really like the coasters. So yeah, that's my weird thing about it. Nice artwork on the box though. And of course, I'm going to recommend this all day because Spider-Man the Animated Series is my jam. Out of all of them, grab the new Diamond Select Spider-Man the Animated Series Resin Bust. You will not be disappointed. But I am curious to know what you guys think about all this new Marvel May merchandise. Anything for you? Anything a must pick up? Anything that's kind of like, nah, I'm good. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel, especially the animated series of the 90s. And thank you again to Collection Obsession Official for sending these out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have a fantastic week. Do awesome things. And if there's time, grab some sweet Marvel merch. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.